Hello Masaka Universe and welcome to part two of my Premier League jersey review. This time I'm wearing the away jersey as the city team is Liverpool. So red and red, that was the whole thought process behind that choice. It's it's a ridiculous choice, I fully agree with that. Uh, I explained the procedure at the beginning of part one, so go back there. I basically group the teams uh, in stages in chunks of four and then I pick one team out of each chunk to make uh, the uh, to make the teams for the video and the chunks are based on the position they finished last season and then I order them alphabetically to really mess things up completely and that's why we don't start with the seeded team in this video I, Tell me if there's a better way to say this, but I like that it's the CD team. No, we start probably with the smallest team in the lot here, although nah, second to smallest. We are talking about Burnley, um, who, not that they were close to relegation and they actually played a decent season, they played two decent seasons, so they're kind of royalty <laughs> in, in a way uh, for the Premier League. Uh, but I am still surprised that Burnley is in there. But, you know, it's great to have smaller teams there as well. And, you know, if you play a few seasons in the Premier League, you get enough money that you actually can sustain uh, being there. They switched over, I think, from Puma now to uh, Umbro. And Umbro gave them, unlike Everton, a pretty decent and classic looking shirt. This is how I would like my West Ham and Aston Villa shirts to look like Burnley delivers it. You have the maroon base, you have the light blue sleeves, and you have a collar that's kind of a little bit weird on the on the front, but I can forgive that. I think the overall feeling is quite nice. I don't like the sponsor. Um, less the Chinese markings, because I'm always, always intrigued by Chinese markings, but um, why do we have the two? Yes, I know you need to translate it, but a um, little bit, that's another thing. That I don't get. I think the same sponsor is also on the sleeve and just look at the character. So, you know, sleeve sponsor, main sponsor are, are the same. Uh, but I won't distract it too much. I think it's a pretty nice shirt. Nine stars. One of the best so far. Uh, also, the away jersey looks really nice. Um, I really like that they use the light blue as the base. And then just keep it light, light, light blue with an interesting pattern up there. Uh, kind of a three stripe that are a little bit interwoven, uh, slightly, I don't want to say 90s, but you know, inspired by that. I think this is all coming back to what we had, the craziness we had in, in the mid 90s. It comes back to uh, a soccer shirts. But you know, uh, then the sponsor in, and the crest monochromatic in the maroon looks pretty darn nice is it better than home jersey i wouldn't say so but i think it's a really nice jersey and i give these eight stars burnley looking good i would imagine that they will have a white third jersey because i'm not sure if they will get with those two colors through the entire season but that remains to be seen okay we have burnley out of the way now let's get to liverpool defending champions league winners um and they get a pretty nice shirt again from new balance um, last season shirt was just red and it was everything was I think in white on there and I really liked the standing collar uh, the, the shirt collar I didn't like the white stripe but this is really looked nice here it's a little bit more of a mixed bag first of all I really do like that they come with the pinstripes that looks absolutely sharp I also think that the live bird in gold looks better and I'm okay with the sponsor in white although it's a little bit of a misbalance um, in all white it looked weird and if you look at here in all yellow it also looks a little bit weird. So I think this might be the right amount of uh, the trade-off between the two. Uh, do I wish the sponsor was only one line? Yes, I wish that. So that one looks fine. Um, what I don't necessarily like are the sleeve cuffs. This is kind of this weird, it looks almost like a Bahrain flag here. That is a little bit weird and you know I know it's the picture that is a little also weird but um, you know there's a shoulder yoke that cuts the pinstripes off and it looks odd to say the least. Also the neckline although it's a crew neck it 
it just seems very, 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 very thin. Overall, it passes the look as a Liverpool jersey, a very modern Liverpool jersey at that. Um, or I, I, should, I should say a modern update on a classic. Uh, but to me, it's not quite perfect. Mainly the sleeve caps, but also the way the shoulders are handled, just don't make too much sense to me. And for that, I'm giving this only 8 stars. I think I like last season's a tad better. Uh, the away jersey makes some sense. White with a little bit of red and then yeah, navy blue it has been used as the main accent color. I wish it was just red, uh, but I know Liverpool um, likes to do it this way, so I won't hold, hold, hold against them. There's also a weird striping pattern, that kind of a sound wavy thing in there, which I wonder what that is. Is that maybe a recording of You'll Never Walk Alone? Could be, could not be. Let me know if you know more. Um, it doesn't really distract from your shirt, it actually gives you some structure. Uh, the shirt itself, mm, yeah, is alright, but I think I wouldn't go higher than the seven stars that I'm gonna give it. But then the third jersey is coming, and that one I do not understand. Um, black, white, and teal, turquoise. I don't understand it, I don't like it, I think it's horrible. And then this pattern all over. I don't even know what this is supposed to be. Uh, I cannot make it out on this video, let, uh, on this picture that I have. Let, let me zoom in, maybe I can. Not really. There is, it's just a pattern. It's it's crazy. It's crazy. Same has the problem, the problem with the shoulder yoke and the weird sleeve cuffs uh, color. There's, I can say not much good about that. Uh, is it the worst jersey league? No, Southampton, you still win that one. Uh, it's not a good one. Two stars. And that is Liverpool. And then let's look at the team that Liverpool played in the first round. Newly promoted team. Winners of the championship. Norwich City. Um, and they are with Area, Italian for, uh, uh, firm that we know from Iceland. And this jersey, you can clearly see that it has is kind of leaning on the Iceland World Cup jersey. Um, I'm actually liking the fade on the main part from yellow to green, but I'm not sure, did we really need it on the sleeves as well? Uh, that I think is a little bit uh, too much, a uh, little bit goes over. Also this insert here, that looks weird. And I would get really rid of that. I'm happy that the sponsor at least uses the main logo in the club's colors. That in black, it could have been green as well. But you know, I understand uh, you want to have it well legible. Um, but I think it's overall a nice jersey. It is not a bad jersey. There are just a few things. I can live with the fade here. I don't necessarily like the fade on the shoulders, especially if you have them on the green sleeve cuffs. That should go into fade too, and then you need a color fade and so on. And you are fading so much that it doesn't make sense any, any, anymore. For that, only six stars. And the away jersey, and that's probably all the jersey they, they will need, uh, is red with yellow on there, which also makes some sense. Maybe the red, not so much. Maybe the white could uh, haul green jersey. But the red is a smart choice because I think Norwich still can really play only in those two kits against everyone because yellow is not so prom prominent and if the few teams that are playing yellow, uh, you can use your red jersey. So you should be fine. Uh, similar drawback, I mean, the nice thing is that the base now is solid so that makes it easier to bear this shoulder pattern uh, that we have on the raglan sleeve which i think is nice the color is a little bit weird uh, i'm not sure about red as a choice overall but i think it's also a six star jersey i like that they're doing something different then uh they also have a third jersey which is from the style probably the nicest one with the rugby color but it is gray Oh yeah, I think yeah, it's decent enough. But you know, I like the style. I style even for that. I give it five stars. I also like that the crest is popping, and we have some yellow in there. There could be a little bit of green in there as well. But okay, yeah, five stars. It's nothing special, but it's also not bad at all. 
Then one of my favorite jerseys, if not the favorite in this Premier League season, is the West Ham home jersey. And the only reason why West Ham doesn't have the best look because they chose to go with the maroon pants. And if that was worn with white, wonderful. I love this jersey. It has such a 80s, early 80s, late 70s, early 80s feel to it that, wow, I really like. I mean, and, and I know I like my West Ham jerseys more like Burnley, but this one really hits a sweet spot with the upper half being entirely light blue and then having the five diagonal stripes. Note, uh, we avoid any Adidas branding here because we're using many stripes. Um, I actually really like their um, uh, sleeve sponsor with the lion that also gives them uh, a little extra. And the sponsor, just one uh, line in white, really nice. This is one of the best, if not the best, Western jersey that I've seen in a long time. There's only one real drawback on the jersey itself, not talking about the kit, and that's the crest. Only the hammers, I wish there was the castle on there. Other than that, this is a 10-star jersey. I love this one. The moment I saw this, I thought this is an absolutely outstanding, great jersey. I think Steve Harris will be happy. Uh, the away jersey is also really smart, I have to say. White, and then you use the club colors for, um, this is Adidas branding, to be fair. Uh, um, in a striped fashion, we have three maroon stripes, two uh, light blue ones, sky blue. Uh, the crest follows the same color, color scheme. Then you have black for the sponsors, which, yeah, maybe it could also have been maroon, but I think I'm fine. Then you have a little bit light blue there. A really smart jersey. Uh, looks also old school. If you take away this, it would be perfect. But um, this and the black sponsor, I only give this eight stars, but it's a really nice looking one as well. The third jersey, though, again, is blah, 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 blah. Um, and mainly because of the colors. Um, why do we have navy blue and pink? Again, I think this is appealing more to the female fans than anything else. Um, monochromatic crest uh, should work okay here. Uh, keeps it from being a total mess, but I think it's a mess enough for just sheer color choice. And for that, only three stars. And the last team we're looking at are Wolves, Wolverhampton Wanderers, which Adidas teams you expect to see templates and template they get. The Tiro template that we've seen in Spain already, I think Celta was using it, we've seen it for Leicester and other teams as well. Uh, this will pop up a lot. We saw it all over the Women's World Cup, we saw it at the AFCON for Algeria, that's the one, the template they were using on the winning jersey. It's not a bad template per se, to, 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 to be honest, and I think Wolves makes it quite nice. You know, you have the gold a little bit uh, light, a little bit darker. Gives an, a visual interest to the jersey. You have the crest on there, that's nice. And uh, maybe the color, since it's so much along the dark, it gets a little bit lost, but I like the black side strap, so that all looks fine. What does not look fine is the sponsor. That sponsor is just way too much of a mess. I understand you need this, but uh, this is a really bad look, even if it stays somewhat-ish within the color scheme, but it's just way too much. Chinese letters already clutter, and then if you need the translation below, and you need a logo that uh, looks a little bit like a McDonald's logo as well, that will drop it for me, and for that only five stars for that one. However, I really like, despite having similar trouble, I really like this away jersey. Because it is has a little bit more style. You have the diagonal pinstripes uh, in gold on a black base. You have the shoulder straps. And I have to say, Adidas uh, jerseys generally look better with shoulder straps. There is some something very uniform, very sharp on it. I like the gold sleeve cuffs and that everything else is black. Yes, if the um, pinstripes would go on the sleeve, that would be nice. The sponsor is a problem, but other than that, this is a really nice looking shirt. Eight stars for that one. And so we have the next five in the book, so we are halfway at the halfway point. Let me know what you thought about the jersey that I showed you here, whether you agree or disagree with my rating. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this, and please, 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 please drop comments. I want to hear what you think about all these jerseys that we are having in these videos. And yeah, part three comes tomorrow, so I will talk to you soon. Bye.
I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates, all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye!